Lowe's is the second largest home improvement retailer in the United States, right next to Home Depot. Lowe's has over 2,000 locations in USA and Canada and over 300,000 employees. On Lowe's website, you can find a variety of products from appliances, plumbing, power tools, and more. In this video, we'll show you how to scrape Lowe's products using Parsa. To follow along with this tutorial, we suggest you download Parsa for free. The link is in the description below. Let's begin scraping Lowe's products. To begin, make sure you have Parsup installed on your computer. Parsup supports Mac, Windows, and Linux. Once you register for free and log in, click New Project to start a new scraping project. You may now enter the URL of the Lowe's page you want to scrape. We will be scraping French door refrigerators using this URL, but you can use any URL you wish. The page and products should now load on the Parsup browser on the right. Click the first products title and it should turn green. Click the next products title, which is yellow, to select all products. Note that you might need to click some more product titles to train the algorithm. Rename the selection to the left to Fridge. Now on the live preview pane in Parsup, you should see all the product titles. Obtaining more product information. To get more information from each product, we need to use the relative select tool on Parsup. Begin by clicking the plus button next to the Fridge selection. Click relative select and click the first product's title as we did before. Move the cursor to the respective brand name and you should see an arrow. Click the brand name and it should turn green. Repeat these steps for the next few products to train the algorithm. Rename this selection to brand on the left. Now you should have extracted all the brands for each fridge. Expand the selection and remove the brand's URL as it goes to the same URL as the fridge's name. Scraping ratings. Once again, scraping additional information from each respective product is done with relative select. However, with star ratings on Lowe's websites, there's an additional step. Firstly, follow the relative select steps we use to get the brand. Now you want to zoom in this time using Ctrl or Command 2 and click the full rating block. Rename the selection to rating on the left. In the data preview, you will notice that it only gets the number of ratings, not the rating itself. So let's click the expand button on the rating selection. Click the extract rating command and below you should see extraction settings. On the extract dropdown, choose aria label attribute. Now in the live preview, you should see the star ratings such as four stars. Scraping additional pages. To extract products from the next pages, you need to add pagination to your Parsup project. Pagination allows Parsup to scrape a set number of pages or unlimited pages, which will get every product in the category. To begin pagination, follow these steps. Click the plus button next to the page selection and choose the select command. Click the next page symbol on the embedded browser at the footer of the page. Rename this selection to pagination on the left. Expand the pagination selection and remove the two attributes. They are not needed and will add unwanted columns to your data. Now you can click the plus button next your pagination selection and choose the click command. Finally, a pop-up will appear asking if this is a next page link. Click yes and choose the additional amount of pages you want to scrape. If you leave the amount to zero, all the product pages will be scraped. For our example, we put two, which means three pages in total. Enabling IP rotation. At the time of this video, scraping from Lowe's requires the IP rotation. If you're not using the paid version of Parsub, you may get an empty result, which means you have been blocked from scraping. To enable IP rotation, click the cog on the top top left of Parsup. Now click settings and you should see the rotate IP addresses checkbox. Tick this checkbox to enable IP rotation. You are now ready to scrape products from Lowe's. Starting your scrape project. Now that you set up your selects, relative selects, and pagination, it's time to begin our scraping. To begin scraping, click the green get data button on the left pane. Now you can test, run, or schedule your scrape. We're going to click run to start the scraping process just once. Once your scrape is complete, you'll be able to save it as CSV or JSON. You can also connect it to Parsub API to build web applications. You have now successfully scraped Lowe's products and website. Thank you for watching our Lowe's scraping video. If you followed along, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about web scraping or need help with extracting data, feel free to contact our live chat at parsub.com. Happy scraping!